Catherine, I guess, your just initial thoughts on where you're going to be playing. Yeah, um, well, it's Ann Arbor. I'm from the Midwest, so Midwest golf. I know how to play Midwest golf, so I'm excited. Do you think that gives you an advantage at all? Um, I mean, I'm a pretty versatile player, I like to think, so yes, but also I think anywhere would have just been exciting and everything, it's just extra, so I'm just excited to go. Is it almost surreal still? Is it still sinking in that you're going to be playing in the NCAA tournament? Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, this was like the pipe dream, and to, for it to happen my freshman year is just super exciting. I guess what, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, is it cool to see your, your name up there at oh, the end? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was totally cool. Um, I was pretty late to the game of golf, and at one point I didn't even think I was going to play college golf, so to see my name up there on Golf Channel is just <laughs> unreal. Did the suspense kind of build? You oh, know, you yeah. Know, having to I was like, why? Why are they putting the individuals <laughs> at the end? You could easily just flash it after you flash all the teams and say, look, these are individuals. But no, you got to wait till the end, apparently. I think it'll be a little bit more nerve-wracking playing in, in this type of field? Um, it'll be nerve-wracking, but I'm also just excited because I've never played against such a strong field. Um, and some of these girls are going to be, you know, pros that are winning events on tour and five years or girls who've already made their LPGA Tour debuts. So just to see how I stack up against them will be really exciting. I, I know you're you're from the Chicago area. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have any knowledge of the golf course up there in Ann Arbor? Yeah, so I actually went to golf camp at Michigan, I want to say my sophomore year, just kind of to see, I guess, what college golf was right. all about. So I've been up there. I've been to the campus. I've seen their practice facilities and a couple holes on that golf course. Um, it wasn't a recruiting visitor or anything, it's right. just I just went to a golf camp. Um, so, yeah, I have an idea for what I'm going to see up there, and I played a couple golf tournaments in Michigan and, like, that area. Yeah. Will it feel a little weird at all since it's just you competing it, and not as a team? It will. Um, Creighton was good enough to allow me to take a teammate with me, so it'll be nice to have a teammate and my coach with me. And um, it's kind of eerily familiar to high school when I was – brand new to golf and I qualified for state individually so it was just me and my coach um, wearing my school uniform without my teammates so um, obviously not the same level but it'll be similar to that I guess. Is it still a cool honor for you to be the, the first golfer from here to, to qualify? Yeah um, like I said earlier it's one of my goals to qualify and it was the pipe dream so to set that record and um, make school history is just amazing. I know you, you said you didn't know if you're going to play college golf. Yeah. Guess when did when did you kind of decide? Okay, this is what I want to do. Yeah, um, that was probably between my sophomore and junior year. I actually had my heart set on college soccer um, mm -hmm. for the longest time, and I made that shift and I, I quit club soccer and I said I I'm going to do this. It's going to happen. Um, and I started like training more and. Um, like seeing my coach more, and here we are. When, when did you make your visit? I know you, you my were- My visit here, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was kind of an unofficial visit, I guess. Everything. Yeah, um, Creighton wasn't on my radar until like June before my senior year. Mm -hmm. um, and I made my visit in October, right after I played in the high school state tournament. My, or not, not the state championship, because it was canceled, but um, I, in October after high school season was over. Um, and then, I think I committed here less than a month after I visited. Hmm. How many times have you watched that uh, birdie putt from the <laughs> championship? Uh, probably too many. Um, <laughs> when I got back to my dorm room, it was like 1 a.m. and I was just kind of sitting in, like, in my dorm room looking at the trophy in disbelief and I pulled it up on my phone. I'm like, yeah, that went in. Um, <laughs> so yeah, one too many. You approached this tournament just like you would any other or, or try to at least yeah um the way I approached conference was just this is all bonus this is all um exciting and new and there's there's no expectation just like go out there have fun play golf um and that's exactly what my plan is going into this one I, I know your the results weren't great before you played out at Indian Creek mm -hmm. this spring yeah. I guess what have you really done well in the last two tournaments yeah, well, I've, it's definitely 
like a head game and I had been practicing great over the winter. I hit the ball well on the simulator. I got out um, to Florida just with my dad and brother and I was playing great over winter break and I had this expectation going into the first couple tournaments that you know I was going to go low or I was going to shoot really well and I think that that expectation kind of got in my way a little bit when things mm -hmm. didn't quite go my way so to lose that expectation and just focus on enjoying golf and um, <laughs> just hitting good shots like individually right. and knowing that the result is a little bit based on luck because that's just how the game works um, and eventually they'll go in if you just keep your head straight so that's what I did. Yeah I mean did you have the expectation of, of winning when you went out to big or Absolutely big, not. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean it was definitely a goal um, after Indian Creek. Um, my mom was there to watch, and my dad wasn't, and I knew my dad was coming to conference. So on the phone, I told him, I said, I was just saving the win for you. <laughs> and so obviously it was a goal, and it was something I wanted, but I knew that it wasn't completely my control. I could only control what I shot, and if some girl went out and shot 12 under, good for her. Like, right. I'm glad you won. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll go out and, you know, shoot a good number, and that's that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? So are you a yeah. baseball fan? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Um, what, you have a fan of a team in particular? Yeah, um, my dad works for the Yankees, um, okay. so I'm kind of have to be so a fan. You have um, to be a <laughs> fan. Um, but if I had to pick a Chicago team, I'd pick the Cubs. Really? Yeah. Cause you, are you closer to the – Wrigley than you are to um, Southside? Not really. Okay. Honestly, I don't know because I've never really time to drive. Okay. <laughs> I just, like it's an hour to the city from where I live. Um, I've probably been to the Sox Stadium more than the Cubs, though, mm. just because they're in the same conference as the Yankees. So yeah. we yeah. watch the Yankees play the Sox. But yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Awesome. And we'll thank bring you. you Debbie.